Steel ain't got me, boy. Can y'all hear that? That machine running in the background? Spray foam. The spray foam tech is here and it's spray foam in our house, putting spray foam insulation in. And the electricians are here as well. Starting to try to finish up my mother-in-law's house. And so Brooke's mom can um, could possibly move in or getting close to moved in. They're gonna run the main power line to her house and they're gonna finish putting all the lights and stuff in and try to finish out the garage too. So a lot going on over there today. Hey, big boy. What's happening, big boy? How are you in the alarm system panning out today? Y'all doing okay? Y'all doing okay? Hmm? Oh, goodness, you done got down too low for me. Yeah, I wasn't expecting all this this morning. I wasn't expecting all this right now. Let me get down here with you. How about this now? Now. Is that cool? Is that cool? Hmm. How about I hit you with a water hose? How about that? You've been enjoying that on these warm days. There you go, buddy. There you go. That good? Keep spraying. I guess he won't think he wants me to keep spraying. What y'all think? Can't believe he hadn't gotten up by now, so he's thoroughly enjoying it. Yeah, that feels better, don't it, buddy? Yeah. That feels better. My boy feels better going straight for my shoes. <laughs> you nut. You nut. Haven't shown y'all the green stalks in a couple of videos, but just gotta show them to you. Look at there. I can see a little bit of plastic there, but other than that, look at that. That thing is completely solid. It looks just like a pillar of flowers. How beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, y'all look. I can see a little bit of plastic there, but other than that, it is just a solid mass. I had somebody the other day tell me that when they drive by here, that's all they can see, really. Are these just super bright pink, gorgeous planters. And it doesn't look real. And, uh, and if you didn't know what they were growing in, you'd probably be like, what in the world is that thing? <laughs> but isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Had some of y'all ask me uh, that may have missed when I planted these things is how do I make mine look this pretty? What am I doing to them? What is my watering schedule? And y'all, when I first planted these things, the first thing I do is, of course, I got a good pot and soil. Matter of fact, usually I buy my pot and soil at the end of the growing season and i'll buy you know 20 bags because I'll, I'll get such a good deal on it and just save it for next year and then i'll use a slow release fertilizer like osmocote which is like this one right here this is very easy to find in almost all your stores that you have around um in any store more likely has osmocote i like it because it is a slow release and it'll feed up to six to eight months and once a month or once every other month i will give it uh, a boost with a water soluble fertilizer and i'll use the hoss 20 20 20 and i'll just do that once a month as i see need i mean it's beautiful now so probably doesn't need that much but i will give it a little boost every now and then with it and that's pretty much it that's all i really do the main thing with a with anything in a planter is water uh you can water too much or you can water too little so it becomes kind of what your weather's like what your environment's like touch the soil feel it 
look at it here in alabama we're in the mid 90s right now heat index is probably close to 100 so i'm pretty much watering this thing almost every day i'm not gonna lie almost every day slow release fertilizer when i first plant a water soluble fertilizer every month or every other month and check the water daily just stick my finger down in the soil and check it and see if it's moist or dry and that's it if it needs water i water it super easy plus these green stalk planters make it easy too i mean they're just gorgeous gorgeous so we we do need some rain today last time i did a rain dance um i think i needed to turn the notch down a little bit because i don't want a gully washer i just want some rain you know and so i think i'm gonna do another little rain dance and hopefully we get some rain today but but maybe i shouldn't you know go all in on it you know what i'm saying yeah. Maybe, maybe that's toned, toned down enough. Fingers crossed. While I'm over here, I wanted to show you the zinnias. I mean, what makes zinnia so awesome? The more you cut them, the more flowers it gives you. Uh, me and Mary Carl have been cutting the stew out of these zinnias, taking them to the nursery petals from the past for resale. And there's more now than it was three days ago. It's just amazing absolutely amazing and they are just gorgeous look at that one isn't that pretty so pretty i mean they all are look at the yellow bloom look how tight and beautiful that one is there's a red gorgeous this is the one Mary Carl likes. This is the color she likes, that peach, and I love it too. The, uh, the wine color is the one that I really like. It's this one. Just a beautiful, beautiful color. But let me show you this color. Oh, man, look at that one. Woo! Aren't they just all gorgeous? I could sit here. I wanted to show you that one color. I want to walk through here and just look at all of them. <laughs> man. Okay, let me show you this one over here. Look at this one. Isn't that one pretty? I mean, that is just a gorgeous, gorgeous zinnia there. Just pretty. It's got that lime color and then that pink center. Beautiful. Got some more sunflowers here, more sunflowers here more sunflowers here and guess what this is sunflowers oh man i just got a message from the electricians we got an issue with the house all right so just spoke with electricians and so here's the situation they were they're they're burying or making the trench to run the power wire from where the power company meter comes in to Brooks mom's house and they they were hand digging where the main water line is and where the septic tank line is but they thought they were far enough but they still hit the septic tank line uh, didn't bust it all the way in two didn't pull it up out of the ground and not two little holes in it they were going to try to repair it themselves and then i asked one of the other electricians about it and um i said you want me to call mr greg who installed the septic tank system and they said yeah that would be great see what he says so after looking at it you know i called mr greg and he asked me the same questions he said did they pull it up i said no did he said did they cut it completely in two i said no i said they knocked two holes in it one's probably about an inch in diameter or about the size of a quarter and the other one is probably bigger than a 50 cent piece for sure uh, but not much bigger 
I wouldn't think. And he said, tell him to leave it alone, don't mess with it, and that he's gonna come over here and look at it and fix it. So that's that's great. So uh, everything's fine, but hey, hey, not everything goes smoothly. Things happen. Things absolutely happen, and it's out of our control, and ain't a darn thing I can do about it. And Mr. Greg says he's gonna take care of it, so I'm not worried one bit. And so it's gonna take him an extra day to get the wire installed. We're fine there too. You think the spray foam guys are gonna get through today? You do? Okay, well good. I like your optimism. I really do. I really do. I like your outlook on things. I hope they get done. Because if they get done, then we can contact the sheetrock and trim guys. Get the, get the interior walls put up. Can you believe that, buddy? Yeah, I can't either. It's going fast. Why well, say that? I say it's going fast. We've only been living in a camper for eight months now, so I guess it ain't going that fast, is it? <laughs> oh, me. Yeah. Well, you enjoy your little rest. And, um, and hopefully the spray foam guys will get done today. Yeah. Here come all my buddies. Yeah. Ooh, I gotta show you guys something. I don't think I've talked about this yet. Let's look Cleo in a little bit. Look at them little babies. <laughs> Ain't they the cutest thing? My gracious. There is the other mamas and their chicks. And they got three. So we got six little chicks running around here. That one right there though, seen with the white spot, the white boof on the back of his head, or her head. <laughs> I don't think I ever seen one like that. I mean, he's got a perfect blonde spot right there on the back of his head. Scott, you ready for eight youngins to be running around? Are you ready for eight siblings to be running around? Sure looks nice without them pods there too. Looks nice with Scott and Miss Lewis standing there because both of them are just absolutely drop dead gorgeous. But no pods too. That makes everything lovely. Because you can see the house. Look at there. <laughs> All right, y'all. Moo Man was right. Moody was right. Spray foam is done in the main barnuminium. Let's go check it out. Hello. Hello. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Listen. Oh, it's raindrops. It is. Feel the temperature. It is wonderful. It is like, I want to say it may be cooler here. It is outside. I think it is. You know what this means? What? We can move in. <laughs> we can sleep on the floor. I'm all for it. <laughs> There's me a bed right here. <laughs> oh Just my put me a pillow gracious. on this bad boy and I'll be good to go. Wow. It is done. This it is, is done. I didn't think this day would ever get here. I feel like we've been prepping yeah. for spray foam for years. And it is here. It is here. Now we went with a hybrid system. We have he sprayed two inches of closed cell first, which is a solid hard Closed cell spray foam. Are you looking at that? I'm pushing as hard as I can, and I cannot get through that. I and mean, it's hard as a rock. Hard spray foam that is water resistant or waterproof. It's a, it acts as a vapor barrier. It acts as a wind barrier. So that went on first. 
And not only does it do that, it also adds support and, and it's rigid. So it adds structural support to whatever you spray it on, which is another awesome part of closed seal spray foam. Now we went back and put open seal on top of the closed seal for sound purposes. Right, these ceilings are so high in here. Yes. And it's open, whereas Mama's is, her, she, she has got, ceilings. She has ceiling ceilings, it's not open like it's this. It's not so. open like this, so it wouldn't have benefited her. No. Like it did us. Right. And we decided to go ahead and do both of them because it's not something that you're gonna do later. No, not something you're gonna do later. Uh, we, we want to do everything that we think we should do. Yes, now. Within our means. Right. Now, so we won't regret having not done it. We're headed upstairs, and I want to tell you guys, there is minimum, and I mean minimum, and I mean minimum difference in temperature. Now, prior to the insulation, it was huge difference it was. 15 to 20 degrees different from being up here than it was down there now there's no difference it is if it is it's slight it's, it's not very noticeable at all when the electricians were up here or brent was up here even i was up here working you were sweating you were sweating. i mean it was hot up here matter of fact the fan stayed up here almost all the time it did and we'd open up that window so the um you get some airflow and it stayed up there because you couldn't be up there without it no you couldn't be up there without it but now wow i want to go show them this because there's a lot of people concerned about this area here the little room where our um it's not really our air conditioner it's our air handler right there uh there's a lot of y'all saying that we should put some insulation there because it may be loud and so we got tyler to spray it for us he was so nice yeah. about it he went to the trouble of uh, putting a barrier up that yep. he could spray onto to show you the difference between open cell and closed cell is is that open cell is soft you can put your finger to it see that it's soft very soft it's like shipping styrofoam closed cell is really really hard i'm pushing as hard as I can, and I cannot get through that. And it's hard as a rock. And rigid, and it's only about two inches as this just, you know, just, when you when you spray this open cell spray foam, it just, just blows up like a balloon. Man, this is, uh, this is great. So now I've already contacted our sheetrock guys, and then Brent's gotta come back. He's, Brent's coming tomorrow to tidy up some things that he needed to do and then waiting, on the, waiting on the spray foam guy and so that's where we are the um the sheetrock guys will be here tomorrow and they'll do our sheetrock our trim and our painting that's right and so they're, they're coming tomorrow and then um you'll be able to see that this will be sheetrock all these ceilings in here will be sheetrock right but the ceilings in the den will be painted black you were painting all this black just the ceilings. Yep. And leaving the trusses exposed. All that will be exposed, and we hope some of you guys are seeing it now because we were tr trying to explain everything to everybody when we were building the house, or what our uh, what our thoughts were and what our plan was, and that is it. This is all going to stay open. All this is going to be painted a flat black. You can see our air condition. Uh, Duck. duck right there and it's gonna come all the way across and it's also going to be exposed and it's going to be black too and that's just what we wanted we like that look there's just a rustic industrial industrial farmhouse look and that's what we were shooting for well i think we accomplished it yeah I think so, so far too. we have anyway yep it's looking good and guess what what it's raining good it is and guess who's sitting on the porch waiting on us? Who? Tucker. Tucker is. Tucker says she knew. Oh, I see Tucker. Well, I'm going to tell you something. What's that? Earlier today, I decided I was going to do a rain dance. And the last time I did a rain dance, 
we get like three inches that day. Uh huh. It was a gully washer. Uh huh. And I was like, I must have just hit the nail on the Well, head. I must have did a little too much. Oh. So this time I decided to tone it down a little bit oh. and it looks like it might be working because okay. we're getting some rain. I just hope it stays like this. It looking sounds at, like looking it. Looking at the radar. Yeah. It's looking pretty promising. But I will say the bad thing about the rain is is that Greg can't come fix the pipe this evening. Greg can't come fix the pipe this evening, but you know what? What? I guarantee you it's going to still be there when, it, when yeah, the rain stops and when I he's able so. to get over here. I believe so. And we're not flushing any toilets or rubbing no, things. No, we're not. So there's, <laughs> that's the good thing. What if we had had... Oh, gosh. What if we had the systems running already? Yeah, it could have been way worse. It would have been a messy yeah. situation. <laughs> Very messy situation. But it's all good now. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm beyond excited. Yeah, me too. This is awesome. I wish it rain just a little bit harder. Well, Moody, we get enough rain to hardly get the darn ground with. I gotta get that, I gotta get that rain dance figured out. It's either too much or too little. Gotta find that sweet spot, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 